How's it going? This is the search nav support team. And we're going to go over what we did for this iteration. It's ending on March 24th. I'm going to go over what John did since he is out today. I'll go ahead and share my screen. Come over here. So we uh, had some really exciting movement on building our own localized pages. Okay, first off, that's our mascot. <laughs> Regal. <laughs> um, we now have a French localized sales page. And this is great because this form automatically ties into the French Salesforce funnel and it's all translated. And we also have a Japanese one, same story. This form goes straight into the, the Japanese sales funnel. And this is all fully translated, built on our own thing. Last iteration, we also did one for German. And what this means is we have a full life cycle built for our sales pages on our own stack, which gives us um, really good learning opportunity. See where we can go from there. Um, in addition, he's also exploring, what if we use this next I-18 module to do this instead? So for these sales pages, we just built it ourselves, you know, straight out of the box, nothing fancy. So we're going to investigate using this module, which adds all kinds of fancy stuff. Um, and we're going to do that with the team ops page. And that we should have some looks at that by tomorrow. And then in addition, we also migrated this topics page over to buyer experience. And it's in our nice, beautiful new template. It's on brand. And that is really exciting. So good work, John. I'm going to pass it over to Miguel. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, I'm going to share my screen real quick. Uh, for this iteration, um, I helped uh, migrating this page uh, over to the buyer experience. Uh, we had it in the DAP repo. And um, so we now have it in the buyer experience. I also um, uh, helped with the personalization of the header in the navigation. So whenever we have a user that is uh, categorized as small business, he will have a personalized uh, customer success story here in the resources tab. And uh, it will be the same thing for, oops, sorry, the same thing for uh, enterprise. Just a second. Uh, we, we have this customer success story for enterprise. So that, that that's nice. And also I help with uh, the schema markup for blog, blog posts in uh, the dub repo. So now that, that is automated and that was for me for this iteration. Uh, I'll pass it over to Laura. Thanks. Uh, this iteration, I added a quick fix to our navigation, um, adding in some constants in our CSS files uh, for the heights in the navigation so that we can use those over by our experience for when we have things pinned to certain heights. Um, and then I'll share here and go over some of the um, smart link changes. Uh, so we wanted to um, translate all the tier one pages, uh, which I believe the list is here. Um, so these are the tier one pages uh, other than the sales page, which Lauren just showed uh, John has been working on um, hard coding those values. Uh, but these other pages, we ran them through the SmartLink GDN and we could see that for the most part, um, translations are showing up. There is the odd string still appearing in English. Uh, so we met with SmartLink today to kind of go over how we can, you know, capture those strings. Um, it turns out that common phrases like value stream management appears on multiple pages and it probably appeared on a different page that we haven't actually ran through the translator yet. Um, so we need to actually go find that string, start a translation job, and then every time that value stream management appears on the website, it will be translated. Um, so we'll have to go through and kind of find all those little um, strings that were, that were kind of missed or captured on other pages. Um, but we have a really good start on a lot of these uh, translations. Um, my favorite page, obviously, the Y GitLab page. We can spring runter here and see a lot of these. Uh, this table shows um, an example of like a lot of these common phrases like container registry 
probably appears on multiple pages. Um, most of these things will appear on multiple pages. So a lot of them aren't translated from the Y GitLab page. They would need to be translated wherever SmartLink saw them first. Um, so uh, we've made some serious headway on that. Um, we also added some documentation on um, using SmartLink for globalization in the handbook. Uh, this is just the review app, um, but that should get merged shortly. Um, this is SmartLink specific, but I assume we will also be adding um, some of the work that John has been doing in hard coding and maybe that I18N module that we're thinking about using, but all of our options here for um, globalization as well. Uh, I think that's it for me. Um, and I will pass it over to Miracle. I can't hear you, Miracle. Maybe you're muted. Yeah, sorry guys, this is my very first Zoom call. Um, <laughs> anyways, thanks, Laura. Um, I was saying that uh, for this iteration, I was working on migrating this agile delivery page from um, the dev repo to BE. So this is now in buyer experience. I worked on the redirects for the customers page. This used to link to customers marketing. It now goes straight to customers and this is beautiful. And then finally, I have gotten to the next step of the review process for our marketing cookie. So hopefully after today's review, I'll only have one more step before we can start uh, personalizing our navigation. Um, and that's it for me. I think that was everybody. So see you guys next week.